Today is the day. We are on the second biggest barrier reef in the world. Welcome to Belize. I'm on a journey all the way from Mexico to the most southern point of South America, chasing adventures at every single stop along the way. And we are now in country number two, Belize. And it took a whole day of traveling yesterday to get here to the beautiful tropical island of Key Corca. We traveled from Bacalar in Mexico and it was a day on the bus. So I had to skip lunch and people are always asking me how I stay in shape while I'm traveling. And the answer is I've got a list of my 10 major principles in the description of this video and on Instagram that spill all the beans on the magic secrets that help me stay in shape. One of which is front loading and back loading my calories. And that means yesterday I was on a bus all day with no lunch, I just had a packet of biscuits and some water. So it meant I had got to try to get a solid breakfast in and then at dinner time I ended up ordering two dinners which looked pretty ridiculous but that's what you need to do to get that one and a half two thousand calories in and a load of chicken and a load of rice and that made a happy Adam ready for the upcoming adventures. As I said we're on the beautiful tropical island of Key Corca now which is just off Belize city and it's the first country on this trip that's had strong Caribbean themes and it's very weird because it's a former English colony as opposed to all the former Spanish colonies so we're speaking English here as opposed to Spanish in all the other locations pretty much. Plan here is very simple we've got four days and as you can see the weather is pretty spot on but it looks like it's gonna change, we've been informed by the weatherman. So the plan of action is to get snorkeling and get in the second biggest barrier reef in the world ASAP, which is today. It's currently 8 a.m. and we've gotta make our way over to the shop, get in the boat. And today we've got the opportunity to see plenty of new animals that I've never seen before. Hopefully today we're gonna to spot some manatees, some turtles, some nurse sharks, loads of big rays, and some other cool stuff in between. So without further ado, let's get on the boat and let's get after it. And we've made it out to stop number one and it looks like the weather is gonna stay with us. Stop number one is for the manatees. So we've got our man on the front having a look right now. Everyone's getting kitted up, life vests on, snorkels on, and we're hopefully gonna see the cow of the sea. So you call them the cows of the sea? Yeah, said, yeah? sea cow, sea cow. And this is Salam, by the way, I'm saying okay, it right. Yeah, man. Thank you, our captain for the day. How many stops do we have in total? Oh, we're gonna be doing like maybe uh, a six snorkeling point and uh, one sightseeing. Or turtles, sharks, and rays all to look Yeah, I'm looking for the Time for me to get ready, I think. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so manatees unsuccessful. We're now actually at stop number four. So we tried a couple of spots for the manatees and we might see them on the way back. It's a long day, we're doing the full day tour. So we went over to stop two, which was a shipwreck that wrecked about 40 years ago. Nothing spectacular about the way it happened. It was just in a storm. So it's formed a bit of a man-made slash natural coral reef over the last 40 years. And then we moved over towards the whole Chan Marine Reserve, which is where we are now. But on the way, managed to spot a not so tame turtle. So he dived in, apparently I flopped in. I chased after that, didn't get too close because like I said, it wasn't too tame. So stayed about 10 meters away, not to spook it, didn't go down, but got to watch it swim. Uh, and now we're at the Holcham Marine Reserve. So I'm gonna catch up with Salam and he's gonna tell us what we can expect here. So maybe manatees later? Uh, maybe, we're gonna see. try it again, yeah, my yeah, friend. Yeah. yeah, man, keep your hands uh, <laughs> twist, man. Yeah, ah. fingers crossed. So what can we expect at Holchan? What's the what's the best um, thing about the reef here? It's full of marine life. Yeah. Like there's so many fishes, eels, eagle rays. Let's get it. Let's do it, my friend, yeah.
old Tamarine Reserve is unbelievable, like nothing I've seen before. The variety of animals that we just saw and that huge barracuda at the end. It's crazy. First time seeing Eagle Rays. There was a nurse shark as well, but I didn't get any footage of it because that's where we're headed next to a spot where there's going to be a load of rays and a load of nurse sharks. And right at the end there, on our way to the ray and shark point, we saw a loggerhead turtle. Biggest turtle I've ever seen. Over, must be a meter and a half long. Crazy. Right, let's get to the next place. finished up in shark alley and luckily i was first out the boat as well so tipped over the edge and literally got swarmed by 10 nurse sharks and a load of a load of fish managed to catch a ray in there as well and swam alongside a few of them that's the main reason to be honest i wanted to come out to the belize barrier reef so i'm very glad we got such a good experience on such a good day now we're just chilling by some corals a couple of guys are in snorkeling We've taken a little stop on land, we're nearly finished. That is the second manatee point that we've tried. No manatees yet, but we're on land now. And Jerison is gonna try and find us a crocodile. Well, and we're on the other side of Key Corker now, yeah? Yeah, this is the north side. The north side, sweet. What's our chances of seeing a croc? 100%. 100%? Yeah. The man's confident, let's get it. Crocodile's just gone in, right in front of us. In there somewhere, that's a log, that's not a croc. <laughs> Yes, Where is it? It's gone. <laughs> oh, surprise attack. <laughs> My brain is fried, I reckon. I don't think I've seen such a contrast and variety of animals in a single day. Even after the whole Chan reserve, I was pretty blown away by the variety of animals. And then finally went on a little manatee hunt, was unsuccessful, but I'm not that bothered about the cows of the ocean, to be honest. We've seen enough cows in the UK. Then we obviously spotted that croc and then finished off with the tarpons. And I won't be afraid to admit that I was too scared to put my hands in because I don't want to optionally, this is the guy that dives with sharks, but I don't want to optionally invite something to bite me. <laughs> unless the circumstances are right and a tarp on, on the finger is not the right circumstances. So that's the end of uh, our wonderful tropical adventure in Belize, our new country. We will be back in Belize with another video and I'm thinking the weather was meant to be awful but as you could see it held up all day so the plan is for tomorrow I'm gonna get a haircut and I'm gonna do some laundry because I've only done laundry once and it's been three weeks now. So that is the riveting content you can expect 
going forwards on the next video. So I'm gonna see what other adventures I can conjure up while we're still in Belize. And I have to say Salt Life Eco Tours is who we did today's excursion with and they were absolutely fantastic. Obviously you could see that for yourself. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching this adventure and I'll see you on the next one. All right, everybody, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed, can you please leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment if you enjoyed everything we did today. Shit, you gotta come on and try it out for yourself. It's nice. <laughs> That's Oh, you want me to say that? No, you have to. Oh, I have to. Like and subscribe. No, say it with conviction and Please look Please like and subscribe. Adam Radcliffe at YouTube. Dot Instagram. Com. Facebook. <laughs>